welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make my bubble baby panda. If you prefer a written pattern, it is available on my blog, which is linked below or on my Instagram. If you have any questions, please comment. With no further delay, let's get started. one we're going to start with our magic ring and add in our six single crochets so one two three four five six Pull our tail to close it and put in our stitch marker. Okay, so for round two, we're going to do increases all the way around, ending the row with 12 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, And so for round three, we're going to do one single crochet and then an increase. And we're going to do that all the way around, ending the row with 18 stitches. So one, increase, one, increase. Round four is going to be two single crochets and an increase all the way around in the row with 24 single crochets. So, one, two, So round five is going to be three single crochets and an increase all the way around. So one, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase. So round six is four single crochets and an increase all the way around, ending the row with 36 single crochets. So one, Four, increase. For round seven through nine, we're going to do our 36 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Before we finish our last single crochet, we need to change colors. So 34, 35, and we're gonna switch colors. Okay. So now it's time to cut 
the white yarn continue with round 10 so round 10 we're going to make our arms this round so we're going to move our crochet i mean our stitch marker we're going to do 12 single crochets one, two, three. Okay. To do the arms, we're going to do a bobble stitch. And for my bobble stitches, I do five unfinished double crochets. We should put six loops on your crochet hook before you pull through all six. So, one, two, three, four, five, okay. and so one, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over and pull through all six, poke it out a little bit, okay, and so now we're going to continue with ten single crochets, so one, two, Three, ten. Okay, and now we're gonna do one more bobble stitch for our last arm. So one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four five six pull through okay. okay so we're gonna finish out this round with 12 single crochets so one two three so round 11 is 36 single crochets all the way around and then this will be our last round complete round in our color B. Okay. So one, two, three. Okay, so like before, we're gonna halfway start our last single crochet of the round and then we're gonna change back to our first, to our body color. Cut off our blue and it's time to continue on with round 12 through 13 which will be 36 single crochets all the way around and I will meet you guys back at the end of round 13. Okay, so before we go to round 14, which is our first decrease round, this is how our panda should look so far. Just trust the process. <laughs> All right, let's head off to round 14. Okay, and round 14 is four single crochets and a decrease all the way around. At the end of the row, we'll have 30 single crochets all together. So one, two, three, four, decrease, one, two, three, four, decrease. Okay, so for round 15, we're going to be adding our legs. And that's going to require us to do some color changes for those. So first, let's start with getting to the legs. So we're going to do three single crochets in a decrease. We're going to do that twice. So let's move our single, I mean, let's move our stitch marker. And we're going to do one, two, three, decrease. <laughs> And then we're gonna do one and we're gonna start the second one and we're gonna color switch okay 
and we're going to do our bubble stitch. Then we're going to grab our white and pull it through all six loops. And then I like to tie it up to make sure it sticks. Now we're going to do a decrease. Okay, we're going to add, we're going to do three single crochets. So one, two, two, and then we're going to decrease, but we're going to add the, our glue back in in the last pull through of the decrease. And let's do those bobble stitches. Now we're going to switch back out to our body color. And then let's finish this round. So, one, two. Decrease one, two, three, decrease. Okay, and this is how it should look with the legs and the arms. If you're going to use safety arms, I would recommend putting them in now. They'll go between rows seven and eight, and make sure to put three stitches in between those eyes. Let's go into row. 16 which is done all in the back loop we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease all the way around and we're going to end up with 18 stitches after that so make sure when you do your stitches behind the bobbles you actually get into the back loops so one two decrease One, two, decrease. Okay, so this is where we're going to go ahead and stuff a little bit so we can have filled enough to know where our eyes are going to go when we glue down our felt eyes. So I feel like this is good enough to add our eyes. So let's go ahead and add our eyes. So now we're going to take our four-way black yarn, we're going to sew on our nose, and then we're going to sew on our little eyebrows and eyelashes. So now we have our face on there. Okay, let's stuff in the black and let's finish closing our little panda bear up. Okay, so round 17 is one single crochet and a decrease and that's all the way around and we'll end up with 12. So one decrease. One, okay, now let's finish stuffing before we close. Okay, so on to round 18, which is decreases all the way around and leaving us with six. So decrease. Then 
then I'm gonna slip stitch and I'm gonna leave a kind of short tail and I'm gonna sew in my bottom and close up and weave in the end. Now, next part is to make the ears. To start off the ears, we're going to do another magic circle, our magic ring, and we're going to do our six single crochets on the inside. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and pull and round two we're going to do one single crochet and then an increase so one one increase one increase one increase Okay. And then the last round in the ear is one single crochet and then a decrease. So one decrease, decrease, one decrease. One. Decrease. Okay. And this is how the ear shall look. And you need to make one more, and then I'll meet you guys when you get done making your second ear. Okay. So now we have our two little ears, and it's time to do some sewing. Okay. So ears go on rows three to five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's right here. You put them as close or as, as far as you like from the eye. I think I'm gonna put mine like right here. I'm gonna grab my four weight white yarn. Okay, and we're done. Thank you so much if you were able to make it this far into the video. I hope that it was easy to follow and understand. If so, please like this video and subscribe for more. Thank you. Bye.